Hello. Kamusta? Good afternoon. Uh, today is uh, June 8. And uh, it's 5.06 p.m. in the afternoon. Kumakain na ako ngayon kasi nakahalisan ko lang. Yung tulog ko kasi it's iba. Kising ako ng gabi. Tulog ako sa umaga. <laughs> okay, so didiscuss natin today. It's about Chinese. Kasi pansin po marami sa kabataan ngayon. Sobrang nahihiya sila. Walang kung bakit. Pero, um, na-experience ko rin yun. Uh, naaalala ko nung high school ako, sobrang mahihain ako. Uh, alam mo yung tipong kapag ino-offeran ka ng food, kahit gutom na gutom ka na, hindi ka, hindi ka uh, tumatanggap ng food na yun. So, yun, didiscuss ko sa inyo yung uh, shyness. Bakit ba na-experience sa mga kabataan yun yun? Um, shyness, ano ba ibig sabihin yun? Um, mahiyain, eh, Tagalog, yes, kahit sa babae and sa lalaki na-experience yun. Na kahit alam mo yung sa bahay, ang kapal ka pa ng mukha mo, pero pag nasa labas, eh, sobrang mahiyain ka. Shyness, it's an emotion that affects how a person feels and behaves around others. Around others. So, ibig sabihin, kapag kasama mo, ibang tao, nahihiya ka. Pero syempre, pag mag-isa ka lang, nandiyan na yung kapal ng mukha mo. So, shyness can mean feeling uncomfortable, uh, self-conscious, nervous, bashful, timid, or insecure. So, those are the uh, synon- uh, synonymous word for uh, shyness. So, people who feel shy sometimes notice physical sensation like blushing or feeling speechless, shaky, or breathless. Kapag nandiyan yung crush mo, nahihiya ka, diba? Kapag, kunyari, magpe-recite ka sa school mo, sa classroom ninyo, nandiyan yung mga classmates mo, kapag magsasalita ka na, you're shy. Bakit? Lahat natin na experience mo. Reacting to new things. New and unfamiliar situation can be ang shy feelings. Like the first day of school, meeting someone new, or speaking in front of a group for the first time, so, people are more likely to feel shy when they're not sure how to act. Hindi ka sure kung paano mo i-action. Baka magkamali ka. Don't know how others will react. Hindi mo alam kung kapag may salita ka, anong sasabihin ng iba. Or when attention is on them. So, people are less likely to feel shy in situations where they know what to expect, feel sure, or what to do or say, or are among familiar people. Kapag naman bago, mahihiyain ka lang talaga eh. Pero kapag matagal mo na lang kasama yung mga kaibigan mo, hindi ka na nahihiya. Nandiyan na yung kapal na mukha mo. na experience ni Baron. And like other emotions, uh, shy feelings can be mild, medium, or intense. May mga ganun pa pala, no? <laughs> so, depending uh, on the situation and the person. Someone who usually uh, or often feels shy might think of himself or herself as a shy person. People who are shy may need more time to get used to uh, change. So they might prefer to stick with what's familiar. So people who are shy often hesitate because Trying something new, they often prefer uh, watching others before 
joining in on a group activity or they usually take uh, longer to warm up to new people and situation. So sometimes uh, being quiet and introverted is a sign that someone has a naturally shy personality. So, but that's not always the case. Being quiet is uh, not always the same as being shy. Why are some people shy? Um, dahil ba ito'y manamana? Dahil ba ito'y um, uh, experience? So let's see. What's the reason why uh, people are shy? So shyness is partly a result of genes of a person has inherited, yes. And it's also influenced by behaviors they've learned. So the ways people have reacted to their shyness and life experiences they've had. First is genetics. Man. So our genes determine our physical traits like height, eye color, skin color, or body type, right? So, but genes also influence certain personality traits, including shyness. So, about 20% of people have a genetic uh, tendency to be naturally shy. But not everyone with a genetic tendency to be shy develops a shy temperament. Life experiences also plays a role. So when people are faced with a situation that may lead them to uh, feel shy, how they deal with the situation can shape their future actions to similar situations. So for example, if people who are shy approach new things little by little, it can help them become more confident and comfortable. But if they feel uh, pushed in, into situations they don't feel prepared for, or if they are teased or bullied, it can make them even more shy. So the examples other people said can also play a role in whether it person learns to be shy or not. Minsan, yung mga parents natin, uh, they are overprotective and they are overly uh, cautious. So, yung mga anak natin, tendency is they back away for the situations that might be uh, uncomfortable or unfamiliar. So, that's it. Shy strength. If you say shy strength, many people want to reduce their shyness. But people who are naturally shy also have gifts that uh, they might not appreciate in themselves. Example, yung mga uh, shy person na mas okay sa kanila uh, makinig. Okay. Example is, um, pag shy ka, most likely you are a good listener. Hindi ka uh, yung ikaw yung nagsasalita. Hindi ganun. Mas okay ka kapag nakikinig ka sa mga ibang tao na sa paligid mo. So that's the strength of uh, being shy. And another thing, kapag shy ka, you are more sensitive uh, to other people and to their feelings. Yun. Yun yung strength ng pagiging shy. Because of their sensitivity and they, uh, because of their listening skills, Many people with a shy personality are especially caring towards others and interested in um, how others feel. So people who often consider them the finest friends. 
Siyempre, yung iba, um, gusto nila matanggal yung pagiging shy nila. Paano nila pa ginagawa yun? Ginagawa nila yun um, pag kasama yung mga friends nila. Uh, mas mas uh, hin- nawawala yung pagiging shy nila kapag nandyan yung mga kaibigan nila. Okay? Kung gusto mong mawala yung pagiging shy mo, may kinakakang tandaan. First is, um, overcoming shyness takes practice. So, people who are shy tend to give themselves fewer chances to practice social behaviors. So, it's no wonder um, that people who shy away from socializing don't feel as socially confident as those who are out moving. They have less practice. So, the more you practice uh, social behaviors, the easier they get and the more natural they feel for you. Next one, it takes slow steady steps forward so going slow is okay but be sure to go forward okay stepping back from any situation that might trigger you to feel shy can reinforce shyness and uh, keep it at level that's hard to get past so build confidence by taking one small forward step at a time Next is, it's okay to feel awkward. Yeah, it's okay. That's fine. Being awkward, that's natural. Everyone does sometimes. <clears throat> People who are shy are often afraid to feel awkward or uncomfortable. But don't let to keep you from doing what you want. Okay. Um, that's actually normal. Whether your crush says yes or no, it's out of your control. But not asking at all means you'll never get the date. Pero syempre, depende siya ha. Mga kabataan ngayon. Be careful, lalo na yung mga babae. Huwag. Huwag niyong uh, isipin na it's okay na magsalita or umamin dun sa mga lalaki. It's a normal. That's different story, okay? <clears throat> um, know that you can do it. Plenty of people learn to manage their shyness and uh, know that uh, you can do it. When shyness is extreme, most naturally, shy people can learn to manage their shyness so that it doesn't interfere with what they enjoy to do. They learn to warm up to new people and situations. They develop their friendliness and confidence and get past shy feelings. But for a few people, shy feelings can be extreme and can seem hard to conquer. When shy feelings are this strong, they prevent the person from interacting. Uh, they prevent uh, participating in class and socializing. Instead of warming up after a while, someone with extreme shyness has shy feelings that build into a powerful fear. So this can cause a person to avoid social situations and hold back on trying new things or making new friends. Extreme shyness can make it uncomfortable and seem impossible to talk to classmates or teachers. Because extreme shyness can interfere with socializing, it can also affect a person's self-confidence and self-esteem. And it can prevent someone from taking advantage of what opportunities, of course, and trying new things. That's the, advan- that's the disadvantage. 
Pag sobrang hiyang-hiya ka, hindi mo alam kung saan ang gagaling. Alam mo yung hindi mo na makontrol. Okay? May mga ganun kasi situation. Extreme feelings of shyness are often a sign of an anxiety condition. That's what you call social phobia. So people with social phobia often need the help of therapies to overcome uh, extreme shyness. Someone with uh, social phobia or extreme shyness can overcome it. It takes time. It takes more patience, courage, and practice. So, but it's worth the hard work. Uh, the payoff is enjoying more friends, having more fun, and feeling more well, confident. So, we can't change our true inner nature. We can't. If you have a naturally uh, shy style or if shyness holds you back, you might have to work at developing a sense of peace around you people. So most people find that the more they practice socializing, the easier it gets. So practicing social skills like being assertive, uh, being assertive uh, converse to other people, be friendly, be confident um, with when it comes to your body language. So, it can help people overcome shyness. It can build your confidence and it can get more enjoyment from everyday experience. So, the only thing that you have to do is what? To overcome it, just be true to yourself.